video, I wanted to share with you the five things that happened when I started shaving my face. As you might know, I've been shaving my face on and off for about a year now, and I've actually noticed some major differences in my skin. My skin is acne prone, and I've noticed differences in how my skin is acting, in whether or not my hair grows back faster, as well as how makeup actually applies. And I wanted to share my experience with you in case you were ever interested in face shaving, had questions about it, and just to educate the internet to help us all look and feel our absolute best. Let's just start off by saying that I am a hairy wookabee. I get this from my mother. I have vivid memories of growing up and watching her tweeze whiskers out of her chin. And I was like eight years old and she would give me the pair of tweezers and I would try to help her. And lo and behold, I have the same wookabee face. I have white peach fuzz that pretty much covers my entire body, as well as some actual black wiry hairs. So, um, <laughs> yay hormones! The first thing that I noticed when I started shaving my face is that my face actually feels like cookie dough. There are certain people who like when you touch their face either with your hands or if you put your cheek up against them, their skin is so soft and it feels like pliable cookie dough or butter. Mine never felt that way. Mine always felt like this this hair that you have on your arm or like peach fuzz, like if you were to rub your hand against a peach. And since I started shaving my face, my face actually feels like this cookie dough. It honestly makes my makeup go on so smooth, especially liquid foundation. Sometimes liquid foundation has a tendency to make me look cakey, especially if I apply the wrong type in the wrong way or if I apply too much, especially with my oil production. But I have found that liquid foundation goes on so silky smooth and I finally glow and my face just feels like smooth vegan butter. Like what more could you want? <laughs> now number two, on the negative hand, I found that my facial hair is used to actually help powder stick to my face. And since shaving my face, powder doesn't stick as well. I never realized how much hair actually holds on to powder. When you think about it, this peach fuzz that used to cover my face kind of made like a veil. And when I would apply the powder after the liquid foundation, it would stick to that. Yes, it could make it look cakey, but it also really hid texture. So severe cystic acne and a lot of scarring was hidden a little bit more by that powder plus face hair. And because I still suffer from scarring, I still have acne scarring, and I still get breakouts every freaking now and again, I had to find a new way to cover some of those acne pimples that I used to rely on my facial hair to help me out with. The way I do that now is by using a filling and smoothing primer. I use foundations and the right texture that really go on baby soft. Then I use concealer and light and dark techniques to kind of minimize any texture. And of course, I can put concealer or powder over the top. The third thing that I notice is that my selfies look way better. I finally glow. I never realized that when I would take old photos that they kind of had like this, this blur to them. And the reason why is because my facial hairs were actually casting like a literal, almost like a veil on my skin. And it didn't make me look as attractive or as sharp in photos as people that I saw on Instagram or other people on Facebook or just photos in general. And I was always wondering because I mean, I like my face structure, but I was like, how come I don't have these definite lines the way other people do? And how come my skin doesn't glow as much? Like literally, unless I take a bath and a setting spray or a highlighter, my skin doesn't glow. Once I started shaving my face and taking selfies, I was like, holy guacamole. This is it. This is the key. The butter skin plus the lack of this blurry facial hair. All of a sudden my features look sharp and my skin is legitly glowing and it is literally so exciting. Instagram game on point. <laughs> It has made selfies so much easier. The fourth thing is that my hair does not grow back thicker. Whenever I tell anyone that I shaved my face, they first look at me funny because I'm a girl. And then second, they ask me if my hair actually grows back faster. And the answer is no. And I wanna show you the science behind that. When we actually look at our skin, our skin has multiple layers and it grows hairs out of those different layers. Those hairs help with sweat, with lubrication, and even with nerve signals to our skin. Now, a lot of people are afraid that if they shave their skin, that that hair is gonna grow back faster. But there is no way that shaving the skin stimulates the hair follicle and the papilla at the bottom to actually produce more hair. What's interesting is that hair growth happens in cycles. When you look at your entire skin, you have many hairs growing at different rates. Think of it like a backyard lawn. 
You have a bunch of these little blades of grass or, in your face, hair that are growing at different rates. Now what happens if you shave your face or mow the lawn? It gets really, really trimmed and then they all start growing back at the same rate. So they're not growing back faster, they're not growing back thicker, but they're growing back evenly. And like the lawn, when it grows back evenly, as your facial hairs grow back evenly, you might perceive that as hairs are growing back thicker or growing back faster. The truth is they're growing at the same rate and the same thickness or thinness that they always were. They're just growing back evenly. Sometimes I will admit, like after day two, I'll have a little bit of stubble where I have my most wiry hairs, but you cannot see it and you cannot even really notice it. Also think, when your hair grows naturally, it has kind of like a pointed soft end. When you're shaving it, you're cutting that hair straight across and it has a more blunt edge, which means it will feel a little bit different. But do I actually have like a 12 o'clock shadow? No, I do not. Um, my hair does not grow back thicker, it does not grow back grosser, and actually over time, tweezing your hair, waxing your hair, or even shaving your hair can help diminish it overall. Lastly, I believe that face shaving has been helping with my scars and exfoliations. Exfoliation is very healthy for skin, especially acne prone skin, and it can help diminish scarring. And I still use an exfoliator, but I've really stepped away from the rough ones. Also, when you think about it, men shave their face every single day. It has been well documented in beauty magazines that men have much better skin and usually better, healthier levels of exfoliation than women because they are exfoliating every day through the act of shaving. They're washing, they're shaving, they're out the door. I honestly believe that the same thing has happened to me. I've noticed that by using this exfoliation shaving tool, my skin does feel softer, my exfoliation is more effective, and my products actually penetrate deeper. Again, your skin has so many different layers, and the top ones are always coming off naturally, your epidermis. Now, exfoliation helps that process, meaning speeds it up. This can help with acne, and again, this can help with scarring. But also, when you remove that top layer, that's one less layer that product has to get through. So your products, your serums, your face masks, your toners are going to have a much easier time penetrating your skin and actually doing their job because it's not as hard to get through all of those different layers. Hi everybody and welcome to She Shaves with your host Jill. Today the video is about women shave their facial hair. Get over it! I hope you get the message by the time I'm done with this video. All right, let's talk about women's facial hair. There are certain nationalities that have dark facial hair. From the Mideast, um, Italians, uh, you name it. There just are some nationalities that have women have dark facial hair. But then... There are women that have thyroid issues, and that affects facial hair. I happen to have hypothyroidism, so my facial hair is affected by that. A biggie that a lot of women have, and this is one out of ten women suffer from this, and it's polycystic ovary syndrome, and that's where we produce more male hormones. Now, this happens uh, to one in ten women and you produ produce more male hormones. Now I had cysts on my ovaries. The ovary monthly would, uh, the egg would come out in a different spot every month for women. Me, it came out of the same spot every time and it formed a cyst. Well, unfortunately, my cyst ruptured and I had to have emergency surgery for that. Now, like I say, one in ten women uh, suffer from polycystic ovary syndrome, and we produce more male hormones, and one in ten women have this issue. One in ten have this. Now, let's look at the, uh, the usual ways that uh, women remove facial hair. Now, you've got waxing. Have any of you men waxed your legs or arms or anything like that? It's not fun. You have to let the hair grow out uh, a lot before you can even do it. Put the hot wax on it, let it harden, and then rip it off your face. Does that look like fun? No. 
Then women have epilators. Now, I can't find mine. I think I chucked it finally, but it's something similar to this. And it has a, a, a roller. But the rollers have these plates that capture their hair and rip it out. That is not fun. Then there are um, hair removal creams. That is not fun. Most of them burn. Most of them burn. You put it on. You have to let, for most of these things too, you have to let that hair grow out quite a bit before they're effective. So there's waxing. You have to let the hair grow out so it sticks out. And, you know, put the hot wax on, let it harden, and then rip it off. Not fun. Then there's epilators. Um, I think I tossed mine, but epilator is very similar to this, but it's got these plates that capture the hair and rip it out. Not fun. Then the creams, like I say, um, that burn your face and aren't really that effective removing the, the facial hair. Then you have tweezing. Now, when I first started getting a little facial hair, it was down here. And it was like three or four of them. And yeah, I could tweeze those. That's fine. But as I got more and more facial hair down here on my problem area, that wasn't effective. And then you have these little teeny, teeny, tiny razors <laughs> that they try to promote to to do the areas, you know, the the peach fuzz. That does not work on dark facial hair down here. You've got the uh, uh, laser removal. That's quite expensive. I've not tried that uh, because I don't want the expense and whatever from it. So my method is traditional wet shaving using typically a razor like this. And this particular one is an Edwin Jagger DE89L, L for the lines in it. And that is my choice for shaving the facial hair from my face. It is not something that should be demonized. Now, guys, think about this. If you had to use waxing for your facial hair. Would you like that? I don't think so. If you had to use an epilator to remove your facial hair, your beard or mustache, would you like that? I don't think so. If you had to use harmful creams on your face that are really not effective, would you do that? I don't think so. If you had to tweeze your facial hair. Would you do that? I don't think so. If you had to use a teeny little razor like this to get rid of your facial hair, would you do that? I don't think so. Laser removal? That's expensive. I wouldn't mind having that done, but I'm not going to do it. So why would you subject women to those archaic ways of removing facial hair. Men, you choose to use, um, a lot of you, choose to use traditional shaving to remove your facial hair. You would not use those other methods, would you? So why do you want to subject me and other women to those archaic methods of reducing our facial hair? Uh-uh, not going to go over with this gal. No way know how. I chose traditional wet shaving for it. Just think about what I just said, you guys. To remove your beards and your facial hair. Think about using those methods. Waxing, epilators, creams, tweezing, teeny tiny razors, laser hair removal. I don't think any of you guys would subject yourself to that. So why do you want women to, because it's a more feminine way to do it? Bullshit. And I'm calling it bullshit because that's what it is. I choose to do traditional wet shaving. The products that we use in traditional wet shaving are good for our faces. When we run 
a steel blade over our face, it exfoliates their face and it makes it smoother. The products that we use when we do traditional wet shaving, the soaps, maybe a pre-shave, the aftershaves and the aftershave balms, they leave our faces feeling so nice and conditioned. So why would you want to subject women to those methods that I mentioned? You would not use those methods. So do not deprive or demean women for using this kind of implement to remove our facial hair, okay? Now go invent the wheel and get out of your cave and stop being a Neanderthal. All right, with that being said, I'm going to show you what I choose to do. And like I say, it's traditional wet shaving. I'm going to be using a soap that I used the other day. And it is from uh, Razor Rock, and it's Irish Countryside. And it's their take on Green Irish Tweed. And there it is in the uh, tub. And I am going to be using, like I say, one of my first big girl shaving razors and that's my DE89L and I'm going to be using a feather blade which is uh, the sharpest blade around and let's see this is on the one two three four fifth sixth use so I'm going to load that in this razor and this happens to be a three-piece razor and you unscrew it from there and then you have the two plates there and the blade is going to go on here and I'm going to screw the bottom cap back on and here goes the feather blade on top of it alright we got the head there This has been my favorite way to shave my facial hair, ever. All of those other methods are just not suitable. Alright, I'm going to be using this brush here today. I'm not going to talk about the products. I'm going to talk about women shaving their faces. And we've got our soap, we've got our razor, we've got our brush to lather up with. And I'm going to dampen this brush. It's a synthetic brush, so I don't need to really soak it for any length of time. Uh, if it was a natural hair brush, uh, a badger or a boar, I would soak it for a, a while, but it's not needed with a synthetic brush. So I'm going to get it wet, and I'm just going to squeeze the ends of it. And I'm going to load up my soap. So like I say, this is a take on Green Irish Tweed which, oh, I just love that scent. I'm going to put about a 20, 30 second load on the brush. Think about it, what I said, guys. Think about those methods that they try to force women to use because it's more feminine than shaving your face. Waxing, epilators, creams that burn your face, tweezing, teeny tiny razors. Why would you subject us to that when you would not do that to your face? Hmm? Let us enjoy. Let us enjoy the joys of traditional wet shaving, I say. <laughs> All right, that's quite a nice load I have on there. Let me re-wet my face. And I'm going to use a um, pre-shave, Skin So Soft Fresh and Smooth Moisturizing Shave Oil. And it's got a cherry scent to it. I'm going to shake it up. Put a few drops on it. Now, ladies out there, the products that we use in traditional wet shaving have so many properties that help your face. 
Like I said, it exfoliates your face. Let's use some of the Pro Lather, which there's ni nice enough Pro Lather I could <laughs> do a full pass on this. All right, and let's lather up. Take the shame out of women shaving their faces. There is no shame involved. I will tell you this. Uh, movie stars shave their faces. It does help makeup go on better. Like I say, it exfoliates your skin. There are movie stars that shave their faces. And the reason why is makeup goes on better. In fact, I have a friend that is a makeup and hair artist that works on very big TV shows. And they will not put makeup on until the woman has shaved her face. Because... The lights catch those fine hairs. Take the shame out of it. There is no shame on it. So if you're one of those guys, or even a woman, that think it's ridiculous for a woman to shave her face, like I say at the beginning, get over it. This is my method of choice. Compared to any of those other ones, forget it. These soaps are so nice. They smell so good. They have such good, great properties on your face. And like I say, the steel blade over your face exfoliates. exfoliates. And the aftercare products we use, that you'll see me use, are great for our faces. My face has never been so soft since I got back into traditional wet shaving. And you guys can attest to that out there. Let's add a little bit more water. It's fun to play. It's fun me time to pamper myself. These soaps feel so good on your face. They smell delicious. And for me, it's the most effective way of removing facial hair. And like I say, get rid of the shame. Guys, and even women, stop shaming women that shave. Should be supporting each other. All right, let's do this. I want you guys to keep thinking about those ways that they say is the more feminine way to remove our facial hair. Do you want to do those? Keep asking yourself that. If you do that, you'll stop shaming women like me who shave their facial hair. We want our faces to be smooth. We want our makeup to go on easier. And for me, this is the most humane way to do it. Men, support the women in your life that do or want to shave their faces. All right, and it's a first pass. Let me rinse off. Get into the 21st century. Don't be a barbarian and put down women who shave their face. 
there are certain health issues that we can't avoid. And why wouldn't we want to have a smooth face? That's the reason why you guys shave, right? Remove the hair from your face. Those, that have, uh, those of us that have some, especially trouble areas, you know, here and here, for most women, is a trouble area that happen to have excessive facial hair. So support the women in your life. It might be uncomfortable for you to do it, but ask your mother, ask your sister, ask your girlfriend, ask your wife, ask a friend. If you can have that kind of an intimate conversation with them about facing, shaving their faces, you'd be surprised at how many do and just don't talk about it because of the attitudes of society. Screw those norms. And why shouldn't we have the me time with these wonderful shave products while we remove our facial hair? All right, let's go this way. Usually considered against the grain. Say this is my pampering me time. The products that I use during and after a shave leave my face feeling so soft, so hydrated, exfoliated. And the products that we use are phenomenal. Wow, what a great shave. So guys, stop being that guy that doesn't support the idea of women shaving their facial hair. My makeup's going to go on smoother. There is no shame. So stop it. Stop demeaning, laughing, teasing, and putting down women who shave their facial hair. Movie stars do it because makeup artists won't even put makeup on unless they are freshly shaven because those little peach fuzzies show up on camera. Marilyn Monroe shaved her face. Elizabeth Taylor shaved her face. Movie stars, for the most part, in TV series, have to have their faces shaved, or makeup artists won't even work on them until their faces are shaved. Because it, the cameras pick up every single little bit of hair on the face. All right, let's do a little touch-up, y'all. Yeah. Guys out there, support your wives, your friends, your girlfriends, any of your females that you know. Don't put us down for what we do to our facial hair. And I will reiterate again and again and again. Those archaic methods of waxing, epilators, tweezing, creams, teeny tiny razors, 
are not things that you would want to do. Why in the world would you want to subject us women to that? And deprive us of this great hobby. This is me time. So rethink. Rethink your archaic thinking about women shaving their faces. Please. If you've got a woman friend, a, a wife, a sister, refer her to these videos so she doesn't have to be ashamed to admit that she shaves her face because you'd be surprised how women, how many women do. All right, so I've got what they call, ladies and gentlemen, a baby butt smooth shave. I have no irritation from this great razor blade and razor and wonderful soap that I'm using that gave me protection and glide and a soft face fill. Guys, support the women. And shaving their facial hair. All right, that's going to do it. If you've got a sister, a girlfriend, a mother, a lover, who you think might be interested in this video, share it with them. Don't shame us. Don't do that, guys. And don't force us or say that it's more feminine to use those archaic ways that I talked about. The waxing, epilators, creams, tweezing, and teeny razors. Why would you subject us to those things? You wouldn't want that on your face. Think about that. Just think about those issues. All right. I got a baby butt smooth shave. Comfortable. No nicks. No nothing. So smooth. My face feels so soft. Let me rinse with cold water and I'll be right back. All right. Oh, that was so enjoyable. Like I mentioned, the products that we use leave our faces feeling so soft, hydrated. Now, for aftershave, I'm going to use Thayer's uh, Rose Petal Witch Hazel. Oop, get up there, no stud. That feels good. And I am going to use Barbado Moisturizing Razor Bump Therapy Aftershave Lotion. Shake it up. Now the scent on this is nothing to write home about, but when you put it in your hand, do that and then let it waft a little bit to get rid of the alcohol and then put it on. It'll be much better for your face that way. And you can get a little bit of the orange scent on that. And then I'm going to use my five Aqua Velva Sensitive 5-in-1 Aftershave Balm. These products, like I say, ladies who may be watching, are great for our skin. Let's face it, ladies, we spend a lot of money on facial, you know, beauty products, beauty aids and whatever. And the products that we use in wet shaving are great for our faces. I guarantee it. My face has never felt so soft since I took up uh, traditional wet shaving again. So that's it. And that's the reason why we shouldn't, you shouldn't, nobody should be shaming women who shave their faces. I have the smoothest face ever. My makeup is going to go on great. And that's it. So, like I said, women shave their faces. Get over it.
<laughs> so if you've not subscribed already, please do hit that little ding dong next to it so you're notified when my next video comes up. Yada, yada, yada. Hit the like button. Yada, yada, yada. And don't forget, I'm going to say bye-bye for now. And you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>
I'm going to do that much and I'm just going to be shaving down and I'm going to rinse off the razor and then right here I'm just going to shave down you guys and look how easy this is if you have a good shaver razor why do I keep saying shaver you don't have to worry about it now like of course when you get here just be very careful just do it slow don't go crazy and you'll be fine just make sure your razor is a little wet you know so it's not like completely dry so when I get to here I just like to go like this and then I'm gonna start shaving down now I'm doing it a little slow so you guys can see normally I'm like speeding through this so everywhere you shave just stretch the little skin around it like that's how you're not gonna cut yourself because you're stretching the skin and you'll be fine so first I shave downwards when I get to the lip area because my hair's a little thicker there. This one I'm going to shave up a little bit here. And then I'm going to shave down. So now we're going to do this side. Sorry, my camera stopped. And my shaving cream is kind of drying out, but it's okay. So we're going to stretch it. And just start doing this side. So I already shaved down with my lips. So now I'm going to go ahead and shave up. And for my forehead, I'm just going to go over it a little bit. Just like in the areas where I feel like I can do it. Okay, so I'm done shaving my face, and as y'all can see, it's very nicely cheeked. I think it looks really great. This is the finished result, you guys. So the last thing I'm going to do is use my Nivea Men's Sensitive Post Shape Balm. This is pretty much going to work as my primer for when I do my makeup, and it's also going to soothe my face. Since I just shaved it, it's going to make it nice and smooth. Oh my god, it feels so good. Today's video is going to be something I don't normally talk about. Um, it's something I've been doing for about a year or a little bit over a year. And it's, I shave my face. Yes, that's right. All that little peach fuzz on my face, I shave it. And I've noticed a significant difference in the overall appearance of my skin. Something that has worked really well for me. You probably don't want to do this if you have very sensitive skin. Uh, but overall, I don't find it irritating at all. It really depends on the razor that you're using. Hi guys, I'm makeup artist Carrie Lou, And today I'm going to show you how to shave your face. Now, I know that sounds like a really strange concept for a woman to shave her face, but I've been doing this for years. Some people think that it makes your hair grow back thicker and darker. Well, it hasn't, and that is somewhat of a myth. Beauty models have been doing this for years. Before a real close-up beauty shot, they'll often shave the face. It makes makeup uh, smooth on so much better. So, let me show you what you need to do it and uh, how to do it. So first of all, either wet your face with a nice warm face cloth to open up the pores and soften your skin. It's really best to shave after you've had a shower. Then your pores are open and the hair is soft. Um, I like to use Aveeno. This is uh, for sensitive skin and um, it never irritates me, so I like it. Put a little dollop in on your fingers, get it nice and foamy, and just spread it over your face. 
So it's not very tricky. So I'm going to use a regular guide's razor. This is like a triple track. It's important to use a fresh blade or if it's not fresh, at least put some alcohol on it to make sure it's nice and clean because you don't want your pores open and a dirty blade. Start in this area, following the way your hairs grow. Now, sometimes people like to shave against the hair. For sensitive skin, I like to go in the direction that the hair is growing. It actually feels quite good. Just take it down the neck. I do this about once a week. When you get to your nose area, you want to lift up your nostrils so you get close to your nostrils like that. And wherever the foam is disappearing, so is your hair. So keep going with the direction of the hair. You have to keep rinsing the blade though. Stretch your face out. If you have a mole or a pimple, please avoid that because you don't want to shave it off. I think this is the silliest tutorial I've ever done. <laughs> I think I'm finished there. That was so quick and my skin is not traumatized. And I'm just going to get a nice warm face cloth and rinse off all the soap. You can also splash it with some, um, well, not freezing cold water, but cold water will tighten up your pores. Mmm. Ah, oh, so smooth. That feels wonderful. Okay, now I'm going to finish up with a little toner. This one is by Murad. They do really nice skincare. And just sprays on. It's got witch hazel in it, and it freshens up your skin. I'm um, going to do a little bit of eye cream. I'm going to keep my skincare very simple since I've just shaved my face. I'm not going to use anything with uh, any harsh ingredients, just a nice simple moisturizer. No um, Retin-A or anything like that, okay? Nothing that um, makes your skin shed, otherwise it will really sting. A little moisturizer. And voila, all done. I hope you enjoyed watching me shave. <laughs>
So that is better obviously money-wise because I think they'd cost about the same. And also better for the environment because there are less blades that I need to be recycling. Now just a note about recycling the blades. They are made of metal so they can be recycled. However, it isn't always possible for recycling places to process very small items like blades. And in order for them to be able to do so, you really need to put it in something else that's also made of metal. So I would recommend putting these in something like a tin can that you're going to be putting in the recycling as well. Or if you were to be scrunching up um, aluminium foil that you were using in the kitchen, you could scrunch it around the blade. And that will ensure that it can get picked up and processed and actually recycled and doesn't just end up in landfill. Now, one really big difference between these and a plastic safety razor is that the head doesn't rotate. This means that you need to provide the angle when you're, you're shaving, so like that. And you just use the weight of the razor, you don't push down, and you just kind of drag backwards against the hair grain. If you're doing the backs of your legs where you can't use the weight of the razor, I would first practice on the fronts of your legs and just get used to that weight and the feeling of that against your legs. And when you're doing the backs, you will need to obviously provide the pressure or you want to provide the same as the weight would, you know, when it just had gravity.